What exactly is Alzheimer's though, and, and how does it differ from dementia or basic senility? So these are all terms that have been thrown around, and when I was growing up, people would say, oh, she's senile. Yeah. Actually, all senile means is old. Um, but it was kind of used because it was kind of accepted that part of getting old is that you lose your marbles to some extent. But we know now that that's not the case, that actually normal, healthy aging, you have very little change in your cognitive status. One thing that does change with normal, healthy aging is processing speed. So you slow down, and so if you get tests where you um, have only a short amount of time to, to come up with the right answers, it might look like a lot of your cognitive functions are getting worse, but they really aren't other than the ability, if you have enough time to get to the right answer, you'll get to the right answer still. For people who have dementia process, then they don't have just gradual change in processing speed. They have a number of different things that can be deteriorating and faster than they would deteriorate from aging by far. If you have multiple areas of your thinking that are deteriorating, not just your memory, but say your memory plus something else like abstract reasoning or visual spatial skills or judgment or what they call executive function, being able to organize things and so forth, that's one of the criteria for dementia. And the other criteria is that it's severe enough that it affects your ability to function in a social or personal or professional setting. Alzheimer's disease is one of the causes of dementia, and it's the most common cause in older people. But the real question is, when someone has dementia, is what is the cause of the dementia? Because there's a lot of different causes. Alzheimer's is the most common. It's, it accounts for about two-thirds of, of the people who have dementia in older age. And because it is the most common, a lot of people who actually don't have Alzheimer's disease are told they have Alzheimer's disease. But if you go to follow them up to the point of death and autopsy, you'll see, in fact, that that was not true. The studies done by the American Academy of Neurology on how accurate a clinical diagnosis is have shown that for every 100 people who go to autopsy proven not to have Alzheimer's disease you know, after their death, at least 45 of them would have been told that you have Alzheimer's disease while they were alive. And that might get them started on medications you know, that, as we said, not only won't help them but can make them worse. Ask your doctor about a PET scan with NeuroQ or visit us on the web for more information about costs and scheduling.